Alright, what's up? This is Soul Plays back for Dragon Ball Fusions for the Nintendo 3DS. So today, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to unlock Jacko and get him on your team. So pretty much all you need to do is come to Capsule Corporation when you reach level 35 or you're around that level. And pretty much he will appear in this vicinity and you talk to him and you take on his quest, which I think is Time Space Patrol. Let's go ahead and check it out for ourselves. And you'll just go through some dialogue. That's the only thing that I kind of skipped and I missed out on. But I decided why not just record this video now so that I can show you guys exactly what you need to do because this one is a little bit confusing there's kind of like some debate going on whether you know you need an s rank or two g ranks in order to you know unlock this time space i guess area or whatever it's so confusing but i'm gonna try my best to explain it pretty much this is the time space patrol once again level 35 is the recommended level you get allies exp and more obviously the ally that you get is jacko and he wants to work part-time for the Galactic Patrol. This part right here where it says open up the time-space hole and battle against the Majin makes absolutely no sense. I don't understand why it says that. You guys are probably confused yourselves. It doesn't really matter. You just open up, I think you need two S rank holes, I would assume. Or you could do a G rank, an S rank, and then another S rank. It's like two or three, you know, really high ranked holes that you have to make. So pretty much all you need to do is get out of this area go somewhere in i guess world one i don't think it really matters but definitely just try to stay in world one because i mean that's where this quest actually takes place and if you want to find some area with a lot of i guess enemies that you can fight and i think the best one is back here let's go ahead and travel on down there's one part at the very bottom that has two enemies if i'm not mistaken right here two saiyan enemies so what you want to do is pretty much lock onto them, fight both of them, open up an S rank time space hole, or you could do another one and make three. And it's really simplistic, it's really simple, you know, just a process and trying to do it. It's really tedious, but once you get it down, he should, you know, have some dialogue in between. So I'm just gonna kinda cut through this and then we'll get to the dialogue and kind of understand this a little bit better. So I'll see you guys back there. Alright guys, so I am back. I just defeated two random enemies. Now let's go ahead and scroll over to the bottom screen here. And what you're going to see are two glowing blue dots on your bottom screen. Go ahead and charge up your key. And I would recommend doing the maximum charge just to get, you know, the full effect of it. I don't know. I just usually like to do that. So this will open up an S rank. So on the top screen right here, it's going to look like this rift in the world i don't even know what's considered like a little time space hole black hole and then you're just gonna go over there jump on in so at this point jacko will pop up on the screen just out of nowhere and this is where a lot of people have trouble because after he leaves and you take on the quest people don't know what to really do and the thing with the majin it could potentially have some kind of role some kind of significant i guess role in this quest but for me personally i tried this out a number of times and I've seen other people do it it doesn't really matter if you have to like defeat Majin characters or not I don't know it's very confusing but here he is all right your numbers up come quietly now man he takes all the credit when we do all the hard work two more to go so pretty much you got to do this two more times and let's go ahead and try it again all right guys so I am back for these last two rifts all you need to do is scroll down back to the bottom screen right here and we're go going to go ahead and charge up your key again after you have three blue glowing lights on your bottom screen so charge it up open up three a ranks and they'll fuse together to make this big ass g rank and what you're going to do from here is take on the g rank mission uh, finish that up and then go on and charge it again after you see two glowing blue lights once again on the bottom screen right after this match and then you want to charge that one up get an s rank a ranks will not work they don't really do anything for you this little piece of dialogue is going to come up saying like oh hey you're not worthy beef yourself up or some stupid shit like that because jack is just stupid i don't know so we're going to go ahead and take this one on and hopefully by that time whenever we complete all these little time space rifts we'll go ahead and jump on straight into Pretty much getting our boy Jacko. You really thought you could get away from a super elite patroller like me? Man, I feel sorry for anyone who gets caught by this goofball. One more time! So, as Goku stated, let's go ahead and do it again. Ugh, tiring work, huh? Thanks for your help, guys. That should do it. I'll go get in touch with HQ now. 
Hey, wait up! You haven't paid us yet, remember? Hahaha, <laughs> don't panic, you'll get your reward! In fact, I'm gonna offer my services to you. I'm gonna join your crew. What the fuck? <laughs> you should be grateful. I don't go around offering my super elite talent around. Um, it's kind of hard to get excited about it, to be honest. Oh, come on, don't be like that. The more friends you got, the stronger you are, right? Goku knows, man. It's all about friendship. <laughs> okay, well, thanks, weird mask guy. But I'm no mere weird mask, man. I'm one of the chosen super elite who keep the galaxy safe. Galactic Patroller Jack is the name. And there you go, guys. Usually what I generally see from these, I guess, quests or whatever, especially this one in particular, is the fact that you have to defeat those three, I guess, Super Saiyan, Golden, Mecha Goku things or whatever the fuck they're supposed to be. Defeat them and you should be able to get this character on your team. I think that's like the last one, but mainly get two S ranks. That's mainly what you need or like a G rank. So two S ranks and one G rank. It says three in total, so you can have an S rank and higher. A ranks won't work. I guess they're just not as prestige. So two S ranks or three S ranks or even one G rank, two S ranks or three G ranks. It's up to you. You could like mix it up as much as possible. So we finally cleared it. Got our rewards, a bunch of EXP, and let's go ahead and check out the main, the main meat right here, the fucking level 50. Like, look at that, he's level 50, he's a speed type B rank, I guess, um, pretty good stats and everything, he's got taunt and beam gun. I mean, the main reason for me getting this character is the fact that he fucking fuses with future trunks, like, is that not cool? So, a galactic patrolman with a duty to exterminate evil from the galaxy, he calls himself Super Elite. But seems like he's got some screws loose. Well, I mean, that's my boy Jacko, man. And we get his fucking clothing. I'm gonna put that shit on right now. That's so cool. So let's go ahead and transport back to the ship. Oh, shit. I'm going to the special move list. My apologies. And we're gonna go ahead and check out this character. You know, see who he exactly fuses with. He fuses with a lot of characters, surprisingly. So we're gonna go and check that out right now. I'm really excited to see it. All right, so here we go. We got, looks like, Trunks. Future Trunks. And... The post version is an S rank. It already looks funny as shit. Look at his head. It looks like a freaking dick or an ass. I don't know what that is. <laughs> and then we also have, looks like, what is this? Sandman? Oh shit, he fuses with the great Sandman, which I don't have him on my team. But definitely, if I do get him, I'll try that out myself. Uh, looks like an S rank once again. Looks pretty basic. And we got, yeah, I just need the great Sandman for that one. And this one, just a sub-event, door to another time cleared. So... We're pretty much set with these characters. Just gotta, you know, get a couple of, I guess, maybe just like one requirement for each one. But that's pretty much how to get Jacko on your team. Really, really tedious process. I still don't understand that Majin part, like defeat the Majin. But like I said, again, I'm gonna reiterate it. You can have three S ranks. You can have two S ranks and one G rank or two G ranks, one S rank. As long as it's an S rank or higher, you have to do three time space holes, okay? Hopefully that clears it up. You, you have any questions or concerns or just any confusion going on into this let me know in the comment section below i will be glad to help you guys out so that's pretty much gonna do it leave a like if you enjoyed it and i'll talk to you guys in the next one take care